In pricing variation, I found in my research that depending on the material and manufacturer, um, a tile could cost anywhere from $399 to $159.99 per tile. And this all depended on the material and the quality. And in the pricing, clients would actually save money also because most people can install the carpet tile themselves instead of having a professional installer come. Some major suppliers of carpet tile are Interface Floor, Lee Carpets, Mohawk, Binvitec, Millikan, Mannington Resilient Floors, Green Floors, J&J Envision Carpet Systems, Eurotex Inc., and Shaw Industries. Quality difference um, is based on what the carpet's made of. So the most common things that carpet is made of would be acrylic, nylon, polypropylene, polyester, sisal, and wool. And acrylic is one of the first synthetic fibers to be successfully used in carpet production. And it has several of the same characteristics as wool. It's also resistant to chemicals, and it's not affected by sunlight where other materials may fade. Nylon is the most popular carpet fiber used today, and it is soil and static generation resistant. It's also incredibly durable, but it does have a difficult time trying to ma maintain appearance retention, which an example of this would be if a chair's legs are pressed into it and you move the chair, the impressions of the legs would still be there. Polypo polypropylene is the lightest of the commercial fabrics used to make carpet tiles, and it tests high for stain and mildew resistance, as well as low moisture absorbency, color fastness in the sun, and it's very strong. It's found in outdoor rugs because of its high level of durability. Sisal is a more contemporary woody fiber that is strong and made of agave leaves, and wool is the standard for which the other fibers are compared to, and it's the most expensive fiber due to its durability, fire resistance, and ability to hide dirt. Variety product of products deals with different methods of construction to create carpet tiles, and one method is fusion bonding. This is a thermoplastic process where yarns are attached to a backing material by adhesion instead of stitching, which is used in tufted carpets. And th this has the greatest, per greatest percentage of yarn available for wear, but it's more expensive. The second is needle punching. And this is when the fibers are bonded together with barbed needle and friction, which, air, which creates a material that is not woven or stitched. And this isn't usually used to create carpet tile. It's just for regular carpets. And the last method is tufting. And this is the most common technique used in broadloom carpeting. And it's produced by a machine where the needles must go through the backing material, forming loops, also known as tufts. The next section, environmental, LED, and sustainability. Um, I was very impressed with the company Interface Floor while I was researching. They have a, a goal in their company called Zero Mission. And what it is, is by the year 2020, they are shooting to be zero oil, zero emissions, and zero waste company. They recycle their carpet products um, to use again and they also create new products from the recycled ones. Also, they're trying to have a, a system where clients, once they're done with one of the interface products, can give it back to them so that they don't throw it away and don't produce more waste. And Interface Floor is just one of many s manufacturers of carpet that's trying to become more sustainable but most are trying to recycle and have a, a plan so that clients don't have to throw out their carpet materials once they're done. The next section is Disabled Consideration, or ADA, and this deals with universal, universal design. And one method that's advised to be used in universal design for carpet tile is the glue down method of installation. And this gives you the highest assurance that through aging, it won't lift or pull at the edges, which could cause um, things to get stuck 
Um, and this would be really good for nursing or assisted living homes or hospitals where wheelchairs are frequently used so that no wheels can get stuck and it's less chance of injury. There are two general compliances for the ADA according to the Carpet and Rug Institute. The first is 451 general, which means that ground and floor surfaces are accessible along with routes and accessible rooms and spaces. The second is 453 general, which means that if a carpet or a carpet tile is used on a ground or floor surface, that it has to be secured, securely attached and have a firm cushion or pad and have a leveled loop so that nothing catches on it. Fire codes for carpet tiles are the same for regular carpet. It has to pass the methanamine pill test, the surface flammability ignition test, the radiant floor panel test, which is the ASTME648, um, and it has to get a class one in that test to be used for healthcare schools and corridors, and it has to receive a class two to be used for other areas. Uh, it also has to pass the smoke density test, which is NFPA248, and so these standards remain the same for carpet tile, they don't change. In conclusion, I would just like to thank you for listening to my report on carpet tile.